what's up guys today's project we have uh we're putting in a new paver walkway here we're going to be ripping out all this concrete putting in pavers and we're going to be doing a uh, paver overlay on the front porch just got the Kubota unloaded over there and my plan is I'm just going to come over here with the bucket tip it under the back and hopefully these pluck right out Usually I get it with my Bobcat, but the Bobcat's not here yet, so I'm going to do it with this machine. You can see this stuff's pretty chewed up. He said it's original. He thinks it's about 40 years old. Get all this pulled out. There's one step here. We're going to be putting in a, another step there. We're using Teco Block pavers. So I'll do a nice little landing and then the step up, then the walkway. Same same path as this one. I might uh, make this a two-part video. I think I'm gonna I'll make a detailed video on how I do the uh, paver overlay here. I know a lot of guys have questions about putting pavers on concrete. Um, you can definitely do it, but there's some steps you got to take and you know some things you got to check before you make that call that it's uh it's good to do it because not every not every situation is the same this concrete you can see is in good shape um it's it's 40 years old so if it was gonna crack up like how the walkway did it would have did it by now but let's get started on pulling the sidewalk out first So my base is ready to go. I'm ready for my uh, bedding sand. I thought I was recording the process of me putting the base down, but uh, I guess the battery died and I, I didn't realize it. So as you can see over here, I got the uh, front porch done. That's gonna be a separate video. Um, that's a little bit of a different application. That's the uh, pavers overlay on top of concrete. So I'm gonna make that a separate video. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna post first, but Anyways, I got I got the base out. I checked it. Got my laser level set up over there, and I'm making sure I have a, a good pitch. You know, between here, it pitches all the way down to the driveway. I think there's I think there's about a seven inch drop.
it's time for me to put in the polymer sand but as you can see my pavers are still pretty damp we got rain the other day um what was it sunday today's wednesday but this area well the, this side of the house doesn't get a lot of sun so as you can see it's it's not drying out so i brought out the good old torch i'm gonna walk down and i'm just gonna heat them up as i go and this this will get them dried out i'm not gonna I might not dry them in one pass. I'll probably take two because I don't want to heat the pavers up too much. I don't think it'll really do anything, but I always worry about discoloring them or anything. So I'm going to get after that, and then I'm going to get the sand in. You can also see I, I put a put an edging in, an edging block all the way down. I wanted to record that, but uh, it was really cold the other morning, and I guess I, I don't know if I didn't charge my batteries on the GoPro or what, but they might not have liked the cold cold temperature because I wasn't able to get that on on film but anyways I'm excited to get this one done this should be the last day after I get this dried off I'll compact them put in the polymer sand then I'll bring some topsoil in over here and clean this up and that'll be a wrap I got some mulch too I'm gonna put in over here and and inside that bed but let's get started 